honoree tonight is a testament to what one child can grow to accomplish if that child is allowed to grow, if that child is provided with the means, the medicine, the food, and the love it needs to flourish, he or she needs to flourish. He was born in Shiraz, Iran, and at the young age of 18, came to the United States. Here, he received his bachelor's and then PhD in engineering and began a career of trying to discover if there is life on other planets. In 2000, when NASA had suffered two consecutive failures of its Mars exploration program, they tapped this man one of our own, to resurrect the program, to restructure it as a chain of scientifically, technologically, and operationally interrelated missions with a spacecraft launch to Mars every two years. He would lead the program for the next five years, and in that time, NASA successfully landed the Mars exploration rovers that we all watched, at least I did as they landed. And as though that's not enough, as though he doesn't work hard enough, he spend his, spends his time, his free time, striving through an organization that he is helping to build, the Public Affairs Alliance of Iranian Americans, to bring the Iranian American community together, to build the Iranian American image here in America, and increase our influence on Capitol Hill all, yes, on his spare time, and all. Because he feels such a sense of responsibility and such a tie to his homeland. In the meantime, he's trying to discover if there's life outside of Earth. I don't think we can lose the sight of the magnitude of the question, you know, are we alone? This is not a question that could be answered with one rover or two rovers or one sample return. I think we really need to pause and soak in, you know, the magnitude of the question that is being asked. If we should be lucky enough to shed light on this issue in the next 50 to 100 years. That's how people would remember it. The, the question is so staggering, you know, in, 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 and it's so profound that I think will define us as a civilization a millennia from now. So I think that's the context we ought to take a look at this. Flight nav, go nav. The Doppler signature indicates true stage separation has occurred. Copy that. Five, four, three, two, mm -hmm. One, mark. The vehicle has now hit the top of the Martian atmosphere. The velocity will continue to increase for the next minute. We are now moving at a speed of 12,192 miles per hour. Downrange distance to landing site is 437 miles. Expected parachute deploy in five seconds. Four, three, two, one, mark. Current altitude should be approximately 25,000 feet. We are awaiting confirmation the parachute has deployed. We see a parachute. Parachute has been detected. Current altitude 8,000 feet. Moving at a speed of 173 miles per hour, we are near our terminal velocity. Lander separation event has been detected. The radar is in lock and we have a good solution on the ground. Expected retro rocket ignition on my mark. Mark. Waiting confirmation from the spacecraft that retro rocket ignition has occurred. At this point in time, we should be on the ground. Now, six minutes, 37 seconds from atmospheric entry. Still awaiting signal that we are on the ground. No signal at the moment. Deep Space Network tracking stations in Canberra and Goldstone are still searching for the primary signal. Stand by. What do we see? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> indicates that the rover has landed base pedal down, which means right side up. Oh my God. Look. 
Yes. I still get goosebumps. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome someone I have grown to call a very good friend, our hero, Dr. Firuz Naderi. Your Majesty, uh, Shah Panu, uh, Prince Reza, uh, Princess Yasemin, dear friends, and dear Rudy, um, thank you very much. You uh, honor me tonight, but uh, truly the, the honor is all yours uh, for making such a difference in the life of uh, so many. <clears throat> As the piece said, I have spent the past 10 years been fortunate enough to work with the uh, NASA colleagues to look for life uh, outside of the Earth. But it is light like this which I understand as noble as that pursuit is, it's even more noble to cultivate, to tend, to nurture the life on this planet. Uh, I want to tell you, if you indulge me for one minute, tell you a short story, should take a minute. Um, I know a lady, a dear friend in Los Angeles, who wouldn't want me to mention her name, uh, been battling cancer for the past 10 years. Uh, but rather than wallowing in self-pity, uh, she decided that she wanted to help uh, underprivileged people in south of Tehran. Uh, these are people in middle school who have a spectacular um, academic record but cannot uh, go to school because their parents cannot afford to send them to school. In some cases, they cannot afford to feed them. So. Gradually, she recruited some of us to sponsor a child. And now she has 200 kids. I have one, uh, 12 years old. Uh, his name is Muhammad. So, um, a couple of no rules ago, when my friend was going to Iran, I thought I would give something a little extra, you know, so that she can have, a, he can have, a new article of clothing, you know, for. Uh, uh, for no ruse. And uh, then he sent me a picture uh, clutching a black shiny shoes, pair of shoes to his chest as though it was more dear than life, you know, to him. Uh, sent me a note uh, saying how he th uh, thinks that I am his role model. and uh, thank me for uh, my generosity. Now, what he doesn't know is that I uh, pray to God that I'm worthy of being his role model. So, oh, thank you for all that you do. I don't know whether Muhammad will grow one day uh, clutching the Nobel Prize rather than uh, the pair of shoes that I help him buy. But whether it is the Nobel Prize or he just grows to be a decent human being, I think that's more important to me than anything I do for NASA. Thank you very much.